Welcome back to Aya Design Expert channel. Today we are design a uh, uh, rack and pinion uh, assembly and then animation uh, the motion study. Uh, here we can uh, discuss about uh, two different uh, gears, uh, three different gears. Uh, how to be converted for uh, <coughs> clockwise motion and then anti-clockwise motion has to be converted for uh, this, uh, uh, the circular motion is converted for reciprocating motion is opposite direction and the same direction. So to select a new new and uh, select a sketch select a circle <coughs> and create a background is uh, plain white color you can select the dimension uh, of this circle so 50 We are going to exit the sketch. Click extrude command. Uh, this is a mid plane. Okay, 10 mm. Extrusion is completed. And again, select a sketch and surface of the front surface of the uh, the circular the disc. And here as you can uh, make a center axis first you want to convert entities just want to click and then ok convert entities and then select a center axis now we're going to draw the line for the center cut section of a gear okay this is a cut section of the gear how to be cut in uh, center cut section this you can be you can cut it uh, removing the sense automatically the remaining gears are uh, uh, creating the same like that for milling machine we can be cutting the uh, gears with use of the excess material and we can get it finally the gear shape we can be get it so those kind of method it can be used to uh, make a uh, Cut section for here. Uh, this is gonna be the exact shape of the cut section so we can be uh, used that uh, to cut section shape we can change it now you can draw the center uh, line center axis to the again touch with the outermost surface of uh, uh, the convert entities to be extend this extend command and then you can trim ok <coughs> now we can mirror uh, remaining these portions total uh, length of the gear should be 3 mm and these two surface these two angles so 145 and the sharp is just the edge of the ear in between the two mm now going to the select and mirror and then select the entire line and center axis now going to convert it now we can extend the command to extend up to the next point okay the thickness of the uh, the gear uh, bottom thickness is to be uh, 0.5 mm sorry 1.5 mm and the center distance is to be 1 mm just go to save the uh, dimensions that is what you can use to make uh, the same uh, gear uh, pitch and thickness and everything to be using of uh, next gears that is what we can go over to save the uh, paint okay now it is cutting the uh, first uh, cut sections to be created I will go into edit 
the radius of the sharp edges the radius is uh, 1 mm okay and next side of the sharp edge to be radius this is completed the first uh, cut section should be completed and save the component can use the name of uh, gears can save here now we can uh, patent for this circumference this uh, circumference I uh, can select and then increasing the number of compound number of cut sections okay, you can give 24 uh, number of cut sections so we can complete it for uh, gears okay now we can get it for the gears Okay, I'm going to create another one part, another one gear, sketch, sketch and front plane, try a circle, first you have to draw the center axis and change the background color, it should be plain white and give a dimensions for the circle. I was going to edit the sketch then only you can edit the circle not be edit here the reason is first you going to edit the sketch okay then you have to edit the dimension for the 100 mm okay now we to extrude the mid plane and then the same 10 mm thickness ok again going to select the front plane and then select a sketch now we can draw the center line the same dimension previously you can use that as some of the dimensions you can make it for the cut section the same cut section you can use here only and uh, you can measure the thickness of total length Here I'm going to check the image. Okay, this length, the bottom length is 1.5 mm, and this in between angle is 145. In these two center distance there is a 2 mm and just have to drag it automatically it should become come one side of the center line the center distance center line to uh, the one side of the thickness of uh, uh, gears should be 1 mm For the center axis, you can select the center axis automatically. Can mirror extrude cut and cut it. Now, going to 
patent select the circumference now we can increase in the number of uh, cut section points Play the 48, we can give in. Before that, going to edit the radius of side edges and give a radius for the both edges. You can select, you can change the dimension 1 mm and both sides. Ok, now we can update the entire uh, uh, section, so it can be updated, ok. Now we can save the second uh, gear and draw the third gear, select new one part, ok. And click uh, white plane, select a plane and then draw a circle. Draw a dimension of 25 mm. Going to extrude the same 10 mm and select a front surface and then uh, can draw the center line. Select convert entities, OK, and select a line. Here we can draw the cut section of uh, gear in between cut section of the gear. You know that uh, this thickness, this uh, thickness is uh, one mm. This projection is uh, one point five mm, and this angle, this angle is one forty five mm, one forty five degree. And the sharp edges, the center edges to the center axis is 2 mm. Okay. Now going to mirror and before that I uh, trim and then mirror. Now going to mirror the entire section. Select the center axis. Okay. Extrude cut. Okay. Now when you edit the radius, the side radius. Select the radius is one mm. For the both sides. Okay, now going to exit the sketch. Update it. I'm going to select a patent, circular patent, and select the circumference to reduce the number of cut sections. It's a 12. Okay. Ok, the gear is completed. The third one is completed. Now going to make a rack. So pinion, entire pinion is completed. Now going to create a rack. Select a plain white background. And select a sketch and print the template. And uh, try a rectangular for the center axis. Clearance of center axis and draw the center axis. Now going to make a symmetric for the sharp edges, two edges, and then just so, so to click two edges, shift and then click two edges and then center axis. 
you can automatically reflecting the symmetric command it should be symmetrically the both sides both the uh, axis both sides are equal uh, I mention <coughs> total length is 250 here we are making it for the same cut section uh, dimension before that we can go into extrude and then you can make it for the dimension I am going to extrude now the thickness is 15 and the extrude 10mm thickness I am going to select the front surface and then select the sketch select the uh, center line and the dimension of uh, center line to side edges is a 7 2 mm Three mm here uh, we can make it for the entire uh, the cut section uh, dimension for uh, here so uh, thickness is one one mm and then one point five mm the angle is one forty five. angle is 145 and sharp edges to the side uh, center line so 2 mm now we will delete the center line and then select uh, the entire uh, dimensions click mirror select center axis ok ok now go to x2 Extend command and then join the line and then uh, going to select a <coughs> dimension of here. This is two mm. Okay, the edge to thickness, the thickness of the gear uh, cutting area, it should be the four mm. I'm going to give a radius for one mm uh, radius. For the fillet command ok I'm going to extrude cut throw the length ok I'm going to linear uh, fillet for this uh, select a sharp uh, edges for the rectangular uh, uh, pinion <coughs> sorry rack and we can select the edges now going to increasing the number of uh, components now going to reduce the uh, gear in between uh, cut section uh, distance ok this is 8 and 6 ok now we will increase the throughout the length of the rack ok ok the gears are completed the pinion uh, is created the rack is created I am going to save the fourth component I am going to draw the to fix the uh, axis of each gear so you can select the circumference and then uh, select the axis and then circumference 
<laughs> so axis is more useful for uh, connecting uh, all the gears this what we can uh, provide the axis and save Okay, now going to make assembly. and we can select the each and every component first component you can change the angle of uh, gear uh, placing the assemble view you can change the background uh, color so plain white okay the front plane you can select view and second component fix here and then third component we need this can be provided that uh, line the straight line it can be uh, created ok before that we can provide the colors of the gear and then uh, circumference of uh, each and every gears this is a cir uh, pitch circle uh, radius that is uh, based on the circle only uh, the gears are uh, rotating so those uh, gears you can be uh, created each and every gears and then uh, pinion is also this straight line is merged with uh, pitch circle line and then this is a creating for center of the pinion and the center of the gear is also and then we can create uh, you can provide the colors See that can creating each and every uh, pitch circle radius so be creating the center of the circle and center of the gear is also okay now we can create the, all the uh, pitch circle uh, uh, diameter now going to make a motion study previous one we can delete it and uh, we can provide that uh, can fix the motor for the pinion bottom pinion Here we can provide the oscillating motion. And before that, we can provide the mat, gear mat, advanced mechanical mat, and then an, uh, uh, we can give a gear mat for each and every gears. Each and every uh, uh, <coughs> pitch circle uh, diameter can select automatically uh, uh, to be connected and uh, now we can give select the pinion rack and pinion select the gear and the pinion rack and pinion and bottom one let's go to select rack and then pinion first you can select the rack line 
and select pinion line and the bottom one select uh, I'm going to select the option of rack and pinion bottom one uh, again one time I will give mat command rack and pinion okay already give again one time given the sense you can create it as even provided that uh, there are let's go to delete it even new mat without selecting any uh, mat and then select mechanical mat rack and pinion and select uh, rack line and pinion line ok now it is completed save to select new motion study that is what the, the last updating details be updating for here Okay, you can provide that the photo edit. You can already give the faces of uh, horizontal motion. Okay, now you can extend the time, say 8 seconds. Okay, now we can go into calculate of the motion study animation. Without uh, engaging of the last gear and then pinion. That is what you cannot be rotating uh, the last two gears, last gear. So again going to <coughs> design, mat, mechanical mat, select gears. These two gears cannot be connected so we can connect these two gears. Okay. Okay. I am going to select another one motion study that is what last update in details to be updated this uh, motion study. each and every changes uh, cannot be updated in the updated uh, uh, the motion study you can use that new motion study only the last updating details are updating here <coughs> you can give again more, more tars and then uh, oscillating details oscillating motion you can provide it for the 10 mm now going to click uh, call or to check it for all the gears are emerging that uh, each and every gears okay going to click uh, animate now going to uh, sort of provide the first uh, sir the circle is providing for clockwise and then anti-clockwise clockwise and then anti-clockwise only the opposite direction of motion should be created <coughs> now we can add it for another one gear another uh, smaller gear we can add it, uh, the top most top first direction Uh, this one you can delete and you can just go to drag it now we can merge with the smaller gear these two gears are connecting with use of the mechanical gear mat circumference circumference and just you have to connect it and the circumference and then rack is to be connected the last one can be updated again on time you can go into mechanical uh, mat and then drag okay rack and then uh, gear now 
now going to provide it for the motion study for here both the racks are rotating which direction you can see here previous one uh, the direction is to be changed that is for the opposite direction to be rotated but now we can provide the motor for the rack same direction and then oscillating motion the same <coughs> same 100 mm 100 mm uh, length now going to animate okay see there the same thing the same direction should be rotated okay so the both the first and last gears are rotating the clockwise only that is what uh, it should be rotating only the, the same direction okay thank you for watching our design export channel please subscribe my channel thank you